In this video, we are going to show you a live demo of motion detection recording. First, click lock icon to log in. And the username is system. And by default, there's no password. So just go ahead and click OK. And then click configuration. And first, we are going to go to alarm setup and you, we are turning on pre alarm record is set to 5 seconds this option is uh, critical because when you turn this on the ICAM DVR will start recording 5 seconds prior the actual motion trigger next we are going to motion sensitivity and detection configuration by default the motion is turned on full screen. Now in this video, we are going just to turn on partial. So you click clear to clear out the full motion detection. And then just simply use your mouse and drag the areas you want to be covered. And then you are going to basic configuration and then this video, we are just going to make Cam 1 for motion detection. So check Cam 1 and then set frame rate at 30. And let's go back to live view. Now let's play back the video we just recorded. So go ahead and click search and play back. And as you can see the cam one is selected. So just go ahead and click play. Now as you can see, although there's no, no motion here in the video, but then um, the whole segment is recorded because we turn on the pre-alarm recording. And here comes the motion trigger event. And as a reminder, we we'll only turn on this area to be motion detect recording. And now the fl the file is played back completely. And then just go ahead and click back to go back to live view. In this video, we are going to show you how to remote access and remote playback Super DVR. Go ahead and click the lock icon to log in. The default username is system. There's no password, so leave the password blank and go and click OK. Next, click configuration icon and simply check net service. And in this video, we are going to change the HTTP port from 80 to 88. And then go back to live view. And next thing you need to do is find out the IP address of the host computer. So I'm going to minimize the Super DVR. And under command prompt, you're going to type IP config and hit enter. And what you need to look for is IPv4 address. Uh, in this case, it is 192.168.248.199. And then we will type this IP address when we go to a remote computer to remote access ICAM DVR. Now we are in a remote computer, so just go ahead and open Internet Explorer 
and add add address bar type http colon slash slash and then the IP address which is 192.168.248.199 and since uh, we changed the port to 88 so press colon 88 Username by default is system. Give the password blank and click OK. And then we can kind of see the this is a live view of the camera virus. And let's go ahead and do a remote playback. So let's click this button as a search playback. And I'm going to set up a uh, more channel playback. Click OK. And then next, click play button. And right now we are remotely play back the recording file from the host computer. In this video, we're going to show you how to remote access ICANN DVR with iPhone. First, you have to download the app from App Store. So in iPhone, go ahead and click App Store and search for the app. The name of the app is Supercam. S-U-P-E-R-C-A-M. And normally you will have an install icon right here and simply go ahead and click install. For Android phone, the process is the same. Go to the market and download Supercam. And right here is the icon of Supercam. Now let's go ahead and click the Supercam. First, go to system setting, as server, enter the IP address of the ICAM DVR. And then for name and password, just simply go ahead and enter the login information of ICANN DVR. In this case, we are going to use the default. The default username is system. And by default, there's no password. So go ahead, click done, and then click back and then click live view and by default you always show the cam if you want to go to cam 2 go ahead and click cam 2 right here on the bottom and then do the same thing you want to go to cam 3 and then do the same thing go to cam 4 and right here we have android phone that's already uh, have the super cam installed if you have any question regarding how to install in android phone please give us a call